In a Jonas beverage inventory system, where you're receiving and counting kegs and bottles, but you're selling shots, pints, and drinks or glasses, what you'll need is two SKUs for every item that you sell. What you'll need is a SKU for the bottle or the keg, and then you'll also need an inventory SKU for the shot, the glass, or the pint. So the first thing you need when you're setting up a new item is to go to Club Inventory, Files, and then Set Up SKUs. Choose your club and then choose your area, and what you'll need is a new SKU for the bottle or the keg. So let's start with the bottle. Type in the SKU number. So for example, if it's a wine bottle, I could do this SKU number. And then I could type in the name of the wine bottle. Make sure that you put bottle in the name so that you know when you're counting or receiving it which item to use. Assign your new item a category. And then what you need to put in for the bottle or the keg SKU is the cost. If you sell this wine by the bottle, go ahead and put in the selling price and then hit OK to save it. The POS item linkage should pop up and this is where you can edit the button description as well as the chit description and the reporting description and assign it a point of sale sales category. Now that you have the bottle SKU set up, what you'll need is to set up a same SKU for the glass. So you'll add another SKU number, type in the next available SKU number that you have, and give it a description, making sure you're putting in glass or pint or shot, if it's beer or liquor, in the description. Choose a category for your new item. And for something like a glass, a pint, or a shot, you don't need to put in a cost price because the, you're never going to receive a glass, pint, or shot. You're always going to receive the keg or the bottle. So you don't need to cost out the glass, pint, or shot because you're never going to receive it. What you do need, however, is a selling price. So go ahead and key in your selling price. And the next step, and this is the most important step when you're setting up a glass, a pint, or a shot, is to go to Package BOM, which is this button here. Choose the SKU that you're pouring to make this glass pint or shot from, and then choose the quantity. So the way you find quantity is to take the amount of glasses, of pints, or of shots that you can get from the bottle, and divide that to find the fraction of just one. So for example, I have a wine bottle here that I know gets me four glasses. So to find the fraction of this one glass, I just need to say one divided by four. And that's the quantity that I'm putting in this box here. If I have, let's say, a liquor bottle where I get a little bit more, maybe I get 12 shots for a liquor bottle, I would do one divided by 12. And that's the quantity I would put in for my liquor bottles. Same thing for a keg is just find out how much of one pint comes out of the keg and do the one divided by that many to get the fraction. So once you've got your fraction in, you'll see that Jonas will automatically calculate the cost based on the cost that you've put in from the bottle or the keg SKU. And when you say OK here, you'll see the cost price is populated, so you know how much it actually costs you to pour that one glass, even though you're never going to receive or count just the glass. Say OK to save it, and once again, you'll get your POS pop-up where you can assign the POS information. And then what you'll need to do is put your new glass, shot, or pint on your menu, and you can go ahead and start selling it.